10 Signs and Symptoms of Leukemia Leukemia is cancer of the blood cells. Blood cells and platelets are produced in the bone marrow. In leukemia, some new white blood cells, WBCs, fail to mature properly. These immature cells continue to reproduce at a rapid rate, crowding out healthy cells and producing a host of symptoms. Leukemia is the most common type of childhood cancer, affecting about 4,000 children a year in the United States. People often ignore the warning signs of leukemia, until the problem becomes severe. It is important to be aware of these signs as addressing the problem early can save you from future complications. If you have multiple signs and symptoms of this health problem, ask your doctor to check your health levels. Here are some warning signs that you may have a leukemia. 1. Abnormal bruising. While most people don't connect the two, bruising is a blood-related occurrence. Platelets, specifically, which are produced in the bone marrow along with white and red blood cells are mostly responsibly for the clotting of blood, which is what a bruise is, only under the skin. Have a low platelet count, or thrombocytopenia, is often the cause if you notice unexplained bruises or the cuts are not healing as quickly as they should. The connection between low platelets and leukemia goes right back to their source, and while one might not be indicative of the other, if you notice irregular bruising coupled with unexplained bleeding from the gums, in your stool or urine, or frequent nose bleeds, then we recommend you go see a healthcare professional immediately. 2. Fever and chills. The symptom of fever and chills is a common one with most infections or diseases of the body. Fever comes on when the body is trying to fight infection, as warm environments tend to be less hospitable for infection to grow. Chills come on as the body's way of trying to stay warm when it is cold, through the contraction and relaxation of muscles. Knowing that these two symptoms are often associated with other ailments poses problems for many in diagnosing as it often manifests as flu-like symptoms. If these symptoms persist, for a week or two, then it is advisable to make an appointment with your physician. 3. Night Sweats Much like lymphoma and other types of cancers, leukemia sufferers have an incredibly difficult time regulating body temperature. This often results in a back and forth between fever and cold chills and excessive sweating, which usually presents itself at its worst during the night. While some might be thinking, how am I supposed to tell what I do when I sleep? The signs are all too apparent in the morning, for a person who suffers from night sweats will find their clothes and bed linens often saturated with sweat. This symptom, like many others on this list might not be a cause for concern, in and of itself, but rather should be viewed in on a whole, coupled with other one to give you a better idea as to what's going on. It is also important to remember that self-diagnosis does little good, and if you feel there is an issue for concern, please see your doctor. 4. Petechi. Petechia are when tiny red dots appear on thin skin when capillaries, the smallest of the blood vessels, burst or bleed out. The reasons for this are multiple, but usually, it occurs due to excessive straining or pressure. Most people have experienced this symptom before, as it can often result from excessive crying or uncontrollable vomiting. Much like the previous point, this symptom is often a sign of thrombocytopenia, or low platelets count, which might be the sign of an underlying blood disorder, such as leukemia. 5. Abdominal Discomfort The human body in many cases is the sum of all its parts. When one part is hurt, injured or infected, it can often have an impact on other, seemingly unconnected parts of the body. Leukemia and the spleen is an example of such an occurrence. The lymphatic system is a network of vessels, tissues and organs through which the body rids itself of waste and toxins, often from the blood. Knowing as we do that leukemia is a blood disorder, it makes sense that the system would be affected. In many cases of leukemia, the spleen can become swollen and distended causing discomfort in the abdomen as the organ presses on surround organs such as the stomach. This can also be a cause of appetite loss as well. Please note, the content provided on this video is not intended nor should it be construed as providing professional medical or nutritional advice. Do not rely on information provided on this video for your health problems. Instead, consult a qualified medical professional for advice. Pain is your body signaling to you that something is wrong. Be smart about your symptoms, 
know when it's time to see a doctor. Symptoms are the body's way of communicating with us and with others. Listen to this communication. No matter what their cause, it is always important. Thank you. 